Star School was founded in 2001, and um, part of our founding values was to be off-grid. Um, we live in an area that's pretty rural and remote outside of Flagstaff, and there are no public utilities anywhere nearby. We were the first public school um, that was off-grid, and we've been running on solar for the past, I think, 23, 24 years. So we um, received a grant from the U.S. Department of Education through the Impact Aid Emergency Construction Program um, a couple of years ago. And the goal of that was to upgrade our solar power system. And the reason we did that was uh, because the school's expanded significantly since it was founded. We've added um, a couple new buildings over the last decade. Uh, we've increased our enrollment. And um, I think another factor is probably related to climate change. You know, it's just getting hotter. Uh, we've had quite a few triple digit days out here in the summers and we're running evaporative coolers throughout our buildings. Uh, we have about nine different buildings, each of them having at least one evaporative cooler, which uses a lot of power. So uh, we were just realizing that our power needs were increasing. Um, our old lead acid batteries were aging and required a lot of maintenance. So we were really interested in switching over to lithium ion just because um, you know, there's zero maintenance and um, would also free up some space because they can be in the same room as the electronics because they don't um, off gas hydrogen. So, um, you know, there were a lot of different reasons and we were really fortunate to find the funding for this project, um, which ended up being, I think, close to half a million dollars. After we received this grant, um, the people from NAS Solar Electric came in and uh, really helped us build everything from the ground up. You know, they assessed the system. Uh, we were able to look back because we're using Solark um, inverters, which um, track historical data so we could look at, um, you know, how much power we were generating and using, which helped them to size out the system and really spec out what kind of batteries we needed, um, how many panels we could add. Um, and they really did all the engineering from the ground up and, and made it a really simple process. So we completely overhauled the power system, redesigned, re-engineered the solution. Now that we have good data as to how much energy they were consuming and whatnot, we basically put in an 81 kilowatt inverter system. We're going to have, with their existing 50 kilowatts of solar, are adding another 40 kilowatts of solar. And the big ticket item, which is changing the entire scope of this system, um, is replacing their lead acid batteries with 220 kilowatt hours of lithium batteries. That has changed everything here because, I mean, the issue is the system hasn't been able to maintain a full charge, maintain consistency with the huge loads that the school has. I mean, they're averaging something like between 200 and 300 kilowatt hours a day. And that load is usually about 30 kilowatts continuous during school operation. So having this added solar is gonna make it so that they can fully charge their batteries, generate enough energy. I mean, we're gonna be pushing close to 500 kilowatt hours of production into the system off the solar. Well, the scope of the project was pretty large. Uh, for us anyway, we had to remove the existing system that was only partially functioning um, but save some of the parts. There were six solar converters that had been installed that needed to be reused. Um, so we had to map out a lot of the existing wiring and reuse the inverters and then figure out how to integrate the new inverters and the new batteries into an equipment room that was a little bit cramped. And then behind me is the start of the array that, uh, that were still in the process of installing. So we do have uh, wind turbines here on campus. Um, those were installed, I think in the early 2000s, uh, right around when the school was founded. And uh, we haven't been using those. Uh, one of the disadvantages of wind power, especially the large scale turbines that we have is just maintenance. You know, they have a lot of moving parts um, that need to be maintained. Ours are very tall. Um, you know, they're several stories high. So getting access to them is challenging. Um, unlike what you would find at a home system where you could just kind of drop it down and, and maybe do maintenance on it fairly easily. So uh, we actually aren't using wind power at this time. Um, it's all solar. And the advantage to solar is it's, it's very low maintenance. You know, once you put the panels up, they tend to last for decades. Uh, we don't even really clean our panels. Um, you know, they get a little dusty sometimes, but we get enough rain now and then that they're sort of self-cleaning and self-maintaining. Um, and now that we're transitioning to lithium batteries, the system is, is pretty self-sustaining, which is great for us as a school because we've got enough other things going on that, you know, maintaining 
our electrical system and having it be a little more hands-off is, is really beneficial for us. So one of the great things about this system, um, you know, we're using Solark inverters and charge controllers. Um, they have an app that I can monitor on my phone. So usually the first thing I do on a school day when I wake up is I log into the app, check the state of charge of the batteries. And, you know, that kind of allows me to, even before I come into work, know what I'm walking into and if there's any issues where maybe the generator didn't start overnight. Um, and um, all of our facility staff have access to that app. There's also offsite monitoring that's happening um, through NAS Solar Electric. Um, they keep a close eye on it as well. And if they notice any anomalies, they tend to reach out to us uh, pretty quickly and just say, hey, there's something weird going on. You guys might want to check into that. Um, but it's really great. You know, it has historical data. There's all these different graphs that you can pull up um, and look at how much power you generated when the generator kicks on, um, you know, and I'm a data nerd, so I'm, I'm really into that. I, I check it multiple times a day when I'm here on campus. I would say um, NAS is a great resource for anybody who wants to go off grid. If you're thinking from, you know, a mobile RV camper van application to a house or a cabin or to a commercial facility like we have, um, they can really scale to all these different um, applications and I think are highly skilled in, in all levels. If you're looking for a distributor that can help you with large scale residential projects, commercial projects, really any project, our team at NAS Solar Electric can help you. We can help you design systems, we can get you the equipment you need, we got you.